Hey guys, it is Kevin here. Um, welcome to the channel. If you are new, please do hit that subscribe button because I review all kinds of products. And if you are returning, uh, thank you for your continuing support. Um, today I'm here to talk to you about a product that I think is very useful in the current health conditions we have um, with COVID going on. So it is a um, automatic soap dispenser. Um, this is the box it comes in. It is by a company called Hedion. Um, pretty straightforward box. Uh, you can pick this up on Amazon, which I will include a link below if you want to check out what other people are saying about it, other reviews, etc. Um, but uh, let's get into what you get when you uh, buy it. So first thing you'll get is you'll get a little instruction booklet if you need to uh, uh, look at the instructions, although it's, it's pretty self-explanatory. Then you're gonna get a little card which basically has two little frequently asked questions on it and um, talks about the warranty. So this soap dispenser, automatic soap dispenser is a foam soap dispenser. So that's one thing to note that it will not take standard traditional liquid soap. You can't put lotion in it. It's, it's purely meant for foam soap. So uh, once you get it out, this is what it looks like. Um, I currently have the top apart here, so we'll put it together in a minute. But the bottom half is the reservoir, and you have this little window that will give you an idea, so that way you can see how much soap is in there. Um, it holds a lot of soap, which is really nice, so you're not constantly refilling it. I know one of the other, I think I've done a review of another soap dispenser that was liquid, and it, we had to fill it up a lot because the reservoir was um, small. So this one is a lot bigger. So when you take the top off here, I've already put soap in it um, to kind of test it out, but the top here on the bottom side, this is where the soap comes out. So the little sensor's right here, so you'll just stick your hand under that and I'll show you how that all works. Um, under the bottom here, this is where uh, the batteries are. It takes um, four AAA batteries and the battery life lasts uh, from so far, from what I've been able to tell, it lasts a long time. Um, obviously, the more you use it, then the more will the batteries, but it's not something you're going to be changing very often. And then here on the bottom is um, where you fill up the soap dispenser. And then on the notches here, this is how it locks it. One of these are larger than the others, so that way you always get it positioned correctly. So you just push down and twist. And it is as simple as that. Now on the top is a power button, so if you want to turn off the soap dispenser, um, you can hit that by turning it on and off. When you turn it on, it will um, turn blink white, and that kind of tells you it's turned on, and then when you turn it off, it uh, glows kind of like a orangish color. So we'll turn it on, kind of show you what it looks like. It's probably gonna need to prime it since I uh, cleaned out the, the little soap and the little thing up, there it goes. So as you can see, it, um, produces a nice rich foam. Obviously part of that depends on what kind of soap you are using, but it froths up really nicely um, and it gets you a good kind of, I know it's kind of weird sounding, but kind of texture of soap. So um, I highly recommend it if you are looking for um, basically going automatic in at least soap dispenser world. It's a great little device. It's useful around the kitchen if you're dealing with like raw meats and whatnot. You don't have to touch the handle of the soap and getting cross-contamination. And then, like I said, in the world of COVID going on right now, up at the office, it is wonderful because um, you can put it up there in like the break room sink and whatnot, and people can use it without actually uh, touching it and everything like that. So um, hit me up in the comments if you got any questions. I'm more, I typically do respond and I'm more than happy to. Uh, and then, like I said, if you found this video helpful, be sure to uh, like and share it. And if you haven't already done so, please help the channel out by hitting that subscribe button. And until the next review, you guys take it easy. Later. You, my friend, are awesome because you made it to the end of the video. Now, if you want to be a true legend in my eyes, please hit that subscribe button. And in the meantime, if you want to check out some other videos, I would appreciate it. Till the next review, you guys take it easy.